Shoot. Just a few minutes late, but it's all good. Posting, posting. And then we will get rolling. Let's do the thing with the thing and the stuff and things. And yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Mobius Y here. As you can see, we're back on Stellaris Console Edition. We're going to jump into our stream game with the Gearoids. Little space dwarves, yet again. Directorate of Duck Dip Dive. So, um, last week there, tried to stream on the Thursday before I headed out of town. Uh, and I wasn't even going to be home Friday evening, so I was like, I'll just bump all the streams up a day. Instead of Thursday, Friday, I'll do Wednesday, Thursday. But, for some reason, uh, I had an interesting bug, and I'm not the only person who's encountered this, where... The game, for some reason, just disabled some of my DLC. Uh, it would either be disabled or say that I need to go download it. One of the two. It was really, 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 really dumb. So it wasn't letting me, uh, wasn't letting me load a stream game for obvious reasons because it's like you need the appropriate DLC because you started the game with this d DLC and now you don't have it. And so I was like, what the fuck? Couldn't figure out what the problem was. I even tried. Uh, later on, deleting and re-downloading the game, but naturally, didn't work because life was like, fuck you, you're not going to work, you're not going to be able to stream tonight. <laughs> so I was like, well, this sucks. So I just had to say, fuck it, and I put it off. I probably could have streamed like Mass Effect that night, but I was like, you know what, I could take the evening off to kind of relax, get some, try to get some sleep, something like that. But uh, it, is, it is what it is. But anyways, uh, we're here tonight. As you can see, we have loaded the game, no problem. Strength Norris, what's up, buddy? And we are going to pick up where we left off, where uh, we're at war with a bunch of people. You know, a, a, a perfectly normal and good situation for us to be in after our homeworld exploded um, a few dec just a few decades ago. <laughs> good times. Anyways, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, if you enjoy the video, do give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below uh, how you think this particular game is going, uh, your thoughts in Stellaris Console Edition, whatever's on your mind, uh, either of those things uh, really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Clicking the like button takes less than a second. Leaving a comment will take, you know, maybe 10 seconds. So any of those things you can do to, to help me out on my end, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you uh, would like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content on my channel, do subscribe and uh, click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. The goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. It's a pretty tall order, but I think we can do it together. Uh, so hopefully you'll join us on the road to 10K. There's also links in the description below that I really want you to check out. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord uh, where you can become part of the Greater Stellaris community. There is a big section for us console edition players uh, to chat together and uh, discuss the game. Um, pretty cool place to hang out. Very uh, active and populous Discord. So if that sounds like your jam, uh, join up there. The invite link is down below. You'll also find the links to my own personal stuff. For example, my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. Uh, give me a follow there. Normal schedule is Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. And I stream Stellaris Console Edition on the Tuesdays and the Fridays. So pop on over, uh, join me during the stream games, or even pop over on the Mondays and the Thursdays to check out what various games I am playing over time. Right now, playing through Mass Effect Legendary Edition, um, as voted on by my viewers. Having a lot of fun with that one. There's also a link to my Twitter feed down below. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements all the time. Last but not least, there's a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. It's not necessary whatsoever, uh, but it's a great way to stay up to date on um, my news and announcements, and you can uh, you can stay in contact with me on a daily basis there. All right, so all those links are down in the description below. Let's get in with into the game. Brick, what's happening, buddy? How's Florida treating you today? Did Florida man wind up in the news again today? We'll, we'll see, I guess, eh? <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. 
Um, let's see. We got our bastions. That one's upgrading. Okay. I don't have enough big. Yeah, uh, I don't have enough big bastions. Partially because I don't really have the alloys. Only three thousand alloys at plus thirty-nine a month. That's not very good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like. I really don't like the look of our economy at almost eighty years in. But uh, anyways, we've got uh, lots of minerals. That will be uh, coming on this dang mine planet. I'm pretty sure I took Mastery of Nature. So I'll be able to add three more districts to that world. And that'll be three city districts to provide enough housing. Uh, that will be acceptable. Voidborn. Do I want Voidborn? Plus 20% habitat, habitability, and then two additional building slots. Uh, advanced housing buildings. Habitat expansion, research options gained after upgrading a habitat. Advanced space habitation. Hmm, curious. Um, Alright, well. Let's leave these alone. I still don't know what ascension path I, I think we should do. I haven't decided on that whatsoever. Alright. The other thing I should think about is... Uh, ooh. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. It's been about a week since I booted this up, so I'm kind of lost as to where we're at. I just, I just know that, you know, we're at war, as indicated in the bottom left there. System survey complete. Uh, the Sovereign Alaria Worlds keeps laying claims, which I'm not a fan of. Very not cool. Currently, they're kicking the crap out of our fellow materialist brethren in the Bajrai Mandate. Hopefully that changes soon enough. I don't think it will, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, uh, let's see. Influence. Influence. Got enough to build a star base. Right here in this area. A, a, Echo Chromia. Hey, this would actually be a good location for a habitat. Gas giant science station. Oh, okay. The Erassians were here, eh? Alright, so this guy's running around doing anomalies, and we will do the special projects to System locate the um, Erassian homeworld. War. War never changes. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, checking out Rask here. Uh, unemployment. Why? Oh, right, because I locked up the clerks. Alright, let's fix that. Uh, I don't think I want to do any more. Hostile fleet um, Resource districts? Uh, let's see. Complete. Moving to the Yonox Ma, really? Where? Oh, I know where that is. Yonox Ma, they went through the wormhole and popped over to here. Oh, damn, I can't extend our deal. I don't have 3,000 energy. Shoot. I'll fix that in a little bit, I think. Uh, Yonox Ma. Ooh, there's not much there. Space, dab, space battle debris, really? Okay, somehow we got away with uh, beating off a uh, enemy fleet. Um, Milistamo 2 has been terraformed into a Tundra World. Ooh, a size 24 Tundra World, but it's got sweet fuck all for resource districts. Which really sucks. Whole lot of nothing, Professor Payne. How you doing tonight, buddy? Thanks for popping by this evening. Uh, research complete. Moat stabilization, very good. Finally got that done. Uh, what do we want next? Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's just go the, the particle lances. Sure. 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 Why not? Polly Shore. Um, should I start colonizing this too? Why don't, why don't we queue it up? And I'll just give it a random name. Largo? Yeah, sure. Maybe Largo. Maybe that could be our, uh, Monopolis. Oh wait, I don't I don't have Arcology Project taken, I just remembered. That's right. Did not take Arcology Project. At least not yet. Um, Forge Fall. Kind of several alloy foundries. So yeah, that will be our alloy world, obviously. And uh we'll need some, build some more down there. Construction complete. Hello. Okay, so let's go ahead, get these mining stations up and running. And as as nice as it would be to get a mining station around this planet to get these extra minerals, it would be better in the long run if we built a habitat. 
uh, because this will give us uh, this will give us far more minerals in the long run, which we are sorely needing. And the nice thing, too... Ooh, there we go. We got another size 18 Tundra world. This is a pretty decent-looking generator world. 21 total districts after Mastery of Nature, with 9 for generator districts. Huh. We can definitely add a few mining districts as well. So, yeah, why don't we go ahead and queue up this colonization while, whilst we are at it. Oh, we don't have the uh, consumer goods. That's not good. Okay, and Yonox Maw Station, how are you doing on the defense here? Not good. <laughs> I don't see this going very well for us. Hopefully we inflict some casualties. I don't I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Uh I don't think so. No. We did very, very little damage. Research. Like, very little. That that was kind of embarrassing. I'm a little embarrassed now. That was sad. Alright, advanced cruiser hauls. I've been playing Mass Effect all day. Started a Paragon run. Yeah, I've been playing that a lot in my free time as well. Um, lately. I was trying to play it earlier, but I for some reason I just kept, like, dozing off. So I laid down and took a nap. And uh, I slept for longer than I wanted to. Which was kind of stupid. Um, okay, so we want researchers on this world because we get bonuses to um, uh, la, 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 research. Duh. Uh, let's go ahead and do a chemical plant. We need more volatile moats coming in for sure. Uh, Kurgan, what's up? Fairly new player here. I like your content. You're fast, but because you post to YouTube makes it easy to play back and follow. Uh, yeah, see the... I've said this before. Somebody... Somebody commented that I go I go really fast through the menus and stuff like that, and it's not easy for a newer player to keep up with uh, what I'm doing. But uh, that's what the more tutorial-oriented videos are for, where I go through step-by-step, step, uh, like, how to do things and stuff like that, and what, like, the reasoning behind doing them in some cases. But I do try to... I, I do try to convey at least some useful information at least once per stream. It doesn't always pan out that way. Um, depending on uh, what happens during the actual game. Oh, size 10 Tundra World. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I can get away with uh, even putting in just one helpful tidbit of information, then I am content. Semper Buffalo, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. And they're just they're just going hard after the southern portion of my territory, which makes me a makes me a sad panda. All right, we got some more consumer goods now. Let's go ahead and uh, colonize this net newly terraformed tundra world. And bam, let's go random. Fosstain, no, nope. Rathol, Scarness, there you go. What we got, JB, we got very little right now. <laughs> we got a war that we're getting our ass kicked in, naturally. When do I not get my ass kicked in a war, hey? Uh, okay, so we cannot build a habitat around um, this world, generating the minerals. But we could build one over here around this gas giant. That would give us reactor districts to improve our output of energy credits, which we could actually really use. So I think I'm going to leave that mining, that thingy alone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the um, Voidborn Ascension perk. This is actually quite useful um, because... We're going to definitely be using habitats, and I'll take our ecology project because we can turn that size 24 world with all the weird, uh, the weird layout of districts. Uh, we can turn that into a um, an Aki Monopolis. Is it this world? Yes, yeah, size 24. See the really crappy generator, mining, and agriculture districts. We can turn this into an Aki Monopolis. No problem. That'll work out. <laughs> just watching what you do is enough for me I built a duplicate of this empire kind of sink or swim oh yeah definitely especially if you're using the um, the doomsday origin like I did oh my god it's no it's joke so that it's a challenging origin because if you don't quickly uh, if you don't expand quickly like first off your home world explodes and you lose a bunch of stuff of course ISS Great Slip has arrived in the Bellatrix system. Ooh, hello there. But uh, you need to GTFO because there's hostiles present. 
the collective self. Um, let's see, we got that done, so let's go ahead and take a do a nutrient replication. That's going to take a while. Yikes. Um, Hostile fleet detected. Do, 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 do. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile, 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 hostile fleet detected. Shut up. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Why aren't you moving to colonize? You can't go there yet. We can, oh, shoot. Blocked off now. Damn, that sucks. Would you be able to fly through that? Uh, nope. That thing would destroy you. Well, that's not cool. Evading hostile fleet. Doomsday with non-adaptive sucks. Eh, it's a little tougher. I've been playing using the non-adaptive trait since this damn game came out, though, so it doesn't bother me too much. Oh, we're going to lose a science ship, I think. Look at them go! Get out of there! Aha! Saved by the Starbase launching individual missiles. And... Are we going to kill that Corvette? Probably not. That'd be amazing, though, if that happened. All right. All right, we're good. We're getting an okay amount of minerals from some of these uh, locations, so that's not not all bad. More guard station has finished its construction. Loco portal, what's going System on, man? Survey. Thanks for popping by tonight. Uh, give me one sec here. Okay, so we took care of that. Where do I want to build the next starbase? Uh, I'm debating whether I do the, another star base or if I just wait and get our first habitat down here in uh, Echochromia. I want to call it Electrochromia for some reason. You know what? We're, we're, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to call it Electrochromia because it's uh, starting to annoy me. Uh, Electrochromia. There we go. New system name. Bam. There you go. Electrochromia. <laughs> Does the Xbox version have feature parity with the desktop version? No. I'm thinking if you need to. I'm thinking if you need to take into account the change prop growth mechanics in 3.0. No, we're on uh, 2.8.1. Do 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 do. Uh, that will be coming though. I wager we'll see that update in sometime within the next 12 months. That's just my guess. Uh, because we're supposed to get both Ancient Relics and Necroids later this year, meaning that the next expansion pass will have Nemesis uh, in its um, lost. content pack. Uh, so, whatever the other two DLC is... Ooh, hello. Peace offer. What happened here? Made peace with Equinian Empire. Ooh. Sweet, that's one more down. I like it. Colony established. One war down the drain that we don't have to worry about anymore. It's good. Dang, mines. All right, let's build a few mining districts then. Get that city district up and running. And uh, do I have 3K now? I do. So let's go ahead and talk to the uh, curators and aid us in our research, please. Bifrost, aid me! With research! <laughs> uh, what was the other colony that we just got? Uh, Kiln Edge. Okay, uh, interesting. Size 14. Okay, what do I want to put on this? So, six generator districts is okay. We can work with that. Do I want to plot the other four down as um, agriculture districts, though? Because that's ten. We'll have another three. Hell, I can fill in all of these resource districts. All right, we'll, we'll start with generator districts because food isn't really a problem right now. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yep, no problem, local portal. My body is ready for necroids. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people... That is the most asked question in the official Stellaris Discord right now. Hey, when are we getting necroids? Soon, TM. Hey, when are we getting necroids? Sometime this year. Hey, when are we getting necroids? Uh, sometime this year. Hey, when are we getting necroids? Soon, TM. Hey, when are we, when are we getting necroids? Eventually. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and terraform this world as well. We need 5,000. Uh, we can sell 10,000 food. Anything else we can sell? We can sell some rare crystal just for the hell of it. Well, dark matter. We don't need dark matter. 
dark matter can suck an egg. And then we terraform into a tundra world, and uh, an edict ran out. I'm guessing it's the terraforming gases edict. Oh no, it's still active. Okay. So something ran out earlier. I don't know what it was. Curious. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Was it a recycling campaign? Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, research subsidies would be kind of nice. I don't need to have Map the Stars active anymore. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, I don't want to disable it because I'd lose the influence. Yeah? Looks like I'll have to buy Necroids on desktop. <laughs> I just love the, the, the aesthetic. Uh, faction founded by curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. So we just got a xenophobic faction that uh, was created. That's awesome. I'm literally doing nothing about losing this territory down in these southern portions here. And I'm just waiting until the war ends, whenever that is, to see what happens. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I don't want to do a status quo, though. No. Definitely not. Uh... Their war goals are... Boo, 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 boo. They will automatically accept this piece. They want Badrilla and Ostaben. They get Molbion, Sir, Sirma, Marope, and six more. Yeah, like, they get a bunch of our territory if I surrender to them. So that's a big old nope. Uh-huh. Hostile fleet's evade presence. Hostile presence. Fleet. Well, frickin' evade, damn you! Oh my god. Looks like I have to do everything myself. I mean, to be fair, you kind of do. <laughs> it is Stellaris, after all. And... There we go. That's more like it. Okay, now, get back to exploring, you dummy. Evasive and automatic exploration. Thank you. All right, new tradition in harmony. So let's go ahead and take the increased stability. Bam. New ascension perk. Very good. Okay, so next up we're gonna we're gonna do prosperity and then we'll do supremacy after that. Um. So yeah, the reason why I wasn't too choked about filling up those last two ascension slots so quickly uh, is because it's like, well, we're about to get another one and then we've still got uh, other traditions and whatnot to do. And we still have Ascension Theory as well. Eventually. When that will happen, who knows. Alright, come on. Please tell me you guys are actually, like, killing each other. But you're winning? No, you are not. What's happening here? Stop losing the battle! Damn it. Why are they losing the fight so badly, I wonder? Curious. It's because they're losing their cruisers and destroyers faster. Yeah, that did not go well for them. It's too bad. Oop, another fleet. Oh, no, those are transport ships. Well, they're as good as dead now, too. Well, shit. Yeah, that just made our that just made our uh, war exhaustion jump up a lot from that. That's terrible. Too bad. So sad. Hostile fleet detected. Hostile fleet detected. All right, you do you. This all stemmed from the fact that I did not get around to protecting my southern border because the, there's a bloody wormhole. Right smack dab there in the middle. Uh, I done gone fucked it up. Anyways. Can't worry about that. My concern right now is that I have two colony ships sitting here that can't get to their locate their destination because there's crap in the way. How about this size 14 Alpine world? What happens if I start terraforming that? Ooh, that's a lot of mining districts. I like that. Planet modifiers, weak magnetic field. Uh, wow. 
So the habitability and pop growth speed kind of cancel each other out. Kind of. And uh, we also have ooh, gateway activation. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and take that. Sure. Uh, a most irritating envoy. The Alarian envoy, Darmulla, has been exasperatingly tiresome in her efforts to represent Alarian interests in Wellstain. Right from her first arrival, she has shown unremitting hostility towards the Science Directorate, unleashing an almost constant barrage of, of objections to our policies and actions. So great an irritation has she been that few would weep to see the back of her, and we have heard whispers that a group of diggy diggy hole loyalists are plotting to expedite her demise. Although this, allowing this scheme to succeed would certainly be convenient, but allowing foreign dignitaries to be assassinated out in our realm might not be the best of looks. Uh, 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 minus ten percent diplomatic weight. Uh, opinions of director. Blah 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 blah. This is an interesting event. I've actually never had it before. Stop losing the battle, you loser. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up to a T, Professor Payne. Uh, I mean, it's it's <laughs> that reminds me of the joke that we always that we always play in uh, uh, when I go play paintball and whatnot, where it's like we pretend to be like cops or some crap, and we're and we're hitting somebody with a we just, we hit them with a little foam tool the thingy that we have, and we just keep start hitting them and shouting, "Stop resisting! Stop resisting! <laughs> Stop losing the battle, you loser!" <laughs> hey. If you're going to die, die quietly, <laughs> you say to somebody coughing. <laughs> um, I don't want to spend the influence to prevent this from happening because I would, you know, let's, let's, let's get rid of the envoy. Sure. Why not? We'll say fuck it. Quit dying, you cowards. <laughs> yeah. What, what is it that Zap Brannigan says in Futurama? In the, is that exactly what he says? Quit dying, you cowards. Um, it's that one episode of Futurama where he starts an interstellar war over like the stupidest reasons. Maybe, maybe that's exactly what System he says. Complete. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Futurama. <laughs> whew, whew. Sleepy. It's been a long week. Hostile fleets present. Oh no! Whatever will we do? This is the system where we have two primitive civilizations uh, existing together. That's an system interesting system. Complete. Uh, I just hope we don't lose access to our future Akimnopolis. That would really, 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 really suck. Big time. But then again, we also have this uh, size 24 arid world that we could also turn into an Akimnopolis in the future. What are these? Oh, that's the Caravansary Caravan Coalition, isn't it? Uh, or is it? No, actually, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Curious. Spajut! We have Spajut over here with an archaeological site. I'm pretty sure this is the Never Forget archaeological site, which I've done several times now. Yep. Two, or I think three. It's always in the Hauer system. The only, the only other one that I do know of myself is the one that appears in your home system through the um, Galactic Doorstep origin um, events. That one's an interesting one. Research complete. 91% done. Oh, I better not fuck that up. I want you to finish that. Core of Engineer. Ooh, Habitat Expansion. There we go. Unlock Station Upgrade Advanced Habitat. Our, or, our orbital habitats can be upgraded into advanced habitats using a planetary decision. Station I like that. Attack. Core of Engineers. I think so. With with the ball planet? Yeah. Something like that. They go to war against somebody else, and then but Zap Brannigan's fleet is getting absolutely destroyed, so he starts, he starts getting mad and shouts at his own fleet, Stop dying, you cowards! <laughs> Futurama is just so good. It is so good. Excellent writing. All over the place. It's great. Love it. 
Uh, holy crap, really? I need to uh, upgrade to a Hyper Entertainment Forum already? Okay, I can do that. Uh, Hyper Entertainment Forum, and we will need an Exotic Gas Refinery to compensate for that, because we only have plus two Exotic Gases right now. Disease Control Unlocked Special Project Orbital Station. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's take a look at Rask, where we are having more unemployment. Got to open up a clerk job. Um, pff, Mastery of Nature just yet? Nah. Leave that alone. We'll leave that alone. Um, we'll add another city district while we're at it, though. The Senate has voted and failed on the Resolution Military Readiness Act. Ha! Fuck you! Old gods approaching this percipient. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. Leveraged privateering. Diplomatic weight from economy. Increased trade value. Trade protection. Blah, 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 blah. A bunch of other stuff goes down. Let's support this just for fun. Shall we? Uh, migration treaty. Uh, let's, let's decline. What, el what else is there on the Senate floor? We're approving cooperative research channels. Absolutely. We want that. Ban organic slave trade. Let's turn that down for no reason. Charter of Workers' Rights. We want the Tianqin Conference Con Conservation Act. Excuse me. Jesus. Reading is hard. Appeal regulatory facilitation. Oh, I forgot we formed the Galactic Council in this, too. I've actually got it in my uh, current... Um, uh, Iron Man game. Yeah, I forgot what they were called for a second. Uh, in my current Iron Man game, I have it where the um, Galactic Council is only two people. Or, sorry, two empires. One of them is me. I have the resolution to drop it down to uh, just one on the council. And I called in a whole buttload of favors. Like, I called in 40 favors in one go. That shot my... Diplomatic weight to over 200,000. And I will be the Senate. <laughs> An odd factor. Okay, we got the odd factory on dang mines. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, the odd factory worker just produces a flat amount of alloys without requiring any additional form of upkeep. Which is just fine, honestly. Uh, so, wow. oh yeah, we have these, <laughs> I love how these colonies are literally two moons, uh, orbiting the same, um, gas giants. I totally forgot about that. That's hilarious. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Let's take a look. See. Oh my God. We're being invaded. Well, that's not cool. Stop invading. Special project complete. Oh no, it's, a, it's, um, pfft, invisible death. Now, excursion into the Zvan Labs, blah, blah, blah. That's not, um, sorry, that's not the invasion symbol. That is bombardment. My bad. Getting my symbols mixed up. Elgate Insights. Ooh. Okay, cool. Don't care. Um, do, 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 do. Could probably do that mining district for no reason. Forge fall. Got another uh, building slot, so we'll do another alloy foundry. Definitely need one of those. And we'll open up these farmer job slots. There we go. Slights. This is also under bombardment A. Are you going to bomb me? It's the point where... Uh, planet modify... Ooh, what? Did we... I wonder if they're going to bomb me to the point where devastation hits 100% and these become two worlds. That would be uh, interesting. Pretty sucky, too, but interesting. Oh, shit. Just about lost that science ship. That would have sucked. Uh, what else do we want to do? Still have these two colony ships just hanging out. And duck dip dive. An odd factor. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on dang mines. It seems like the colony will maintain the projected production estimates. Good. Very good. All right, let's build our first habitat, shall we? I've been sitting on this influence and these alloys. My thumb up my butt for far too long. All right. It's habitat time. 
build megastructure, El Habitato. Planet lost to invasion. Planet lost to invasion. Oh no. We lost Wellstain. That's our capital, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Nice. Not uh, not a good idea there, Moby, to have your empire capital right next to your hostile neighbor. You dumb fuck. Oh, well, whatever. I wonder if they've got claims on these systems. I hope not. That would suck. Especially if we lost Force Fall. Which we won't, because it's down down here. But still. We lost one Empire Capital due to it exploding. We might just lose the other one due to it getting invaded. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. I'd actually laugh if that, if this is what wound up happening. L nutrient replication. Very good. Um, bu 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 bu. Let's go ahead and get clone armies, shall we? I mean, why not? Uh, we're, we might actually be pretty close to getting Mega Engineering uh, now that we're done Core of Engineers. I think we still need Citadels, though. I can't remember. Ooh, not... Uh, I almost went all the way... Yeah, we got Citadels, and we should have Battleships as well. Yeah, Battleships, Citadels, uh, Zero Point Power. I'm quite positive we already have that. Uh, yep, there it is, Zero Point Power. So we got all the prerequisites. We just need to get enough higher tier technologies. Uh, we have two. We have battleships, zero, uh, citadels. Um, I think standardized battleship patterns also counts for that as well. It's in the it's in the tier four or whatever it is. Super fluid materials, I think. I don't know. I gotta double check the tech tree. It's been a long time since I've looked at it. And here's ye old relic screen, which we don't really get to see very much. What's this research agreement proposal? Research complete. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Corps of Engineers done. Habitat expansion. I don't really care for that just yet. Let's get advanced battleship hulls first. Oh my god, that's going to take a long ass time. Yikes. Yikes. Ugh, brutal. Brutal. Brutal, I say. Brutal. No modifiers. No modifiers. Uh -huh. So what's this doing for me right now, then? I wonder... Resources currently producing 0.82. Really? Why is that? Uh, specialist workers for the overall level. Huh. Well, alrighty then. If that uh, kind of sucks. I wonder the output on this world is not very good. Hostile fleet detected. Upkeep. Is there any volatile modes for upcre upkeep? Not that I can find. Buildings, districts, city districts, pop assembly, entertainer jobs, translucer jobs, chemist jobs, robotic servants, or Yeah, this, this sucks. <sighs> Excuse me. Whew, sleepy. Byzantine bureaucracy. Is that really? Eh, I don't know. All right, time to start the prosperity tree. Boop. Adopted. Easy. Okay. Um. Well, somebody beat the somebody beat these guys up in a battle somewhere because their war exhaustion is no longer like twenty percent below ours. It's only about thirteen percent. So they lost a fight somewhere. Where? Who knows? Uh, how much longer for for clone armies? I kind of want to get some clone armies and then build build some up and then try to retake Wellstain. If we do that, uh, that'll actually be quite helpful. No guarantee that we'd keep the planet. Emergency measure declared. Oh, Banning the organic slave trade was declared an emergency measure. So we are now voting on it. Immediately. Who was it that called that? The Jazzijan Pius, Pius Administration. Okay. Sentient organics can no longer be sold on the slave market. Maybe I should not oppose these guys because they're right next to me and they are they have been a long-standing ally. 
Uh, what the fuck are my envoys doing? Titian Corporate Holdings, Cobarian Trade Association. I need to improve relations. Why are you harming relations with me? Uh, improve relations. Improve relations. Not with the Sovereign Alari Worlds. They can suck a donkey dick. Uh, Zanny restores Jingoistic Reclaimers. Oh, yeah, these guys awakened. That's right. We do have an awakened empire. That's problematic. So, yeah, I think we'll send our third envoy off to deal with the Equinian Empire. There you go. The galaxy awaits the reign of Empress Modric I, and you want negotiations? Uh, yeah, kind of. The Equinian Empire. Research How does it... Oh, there we go. Snotalitvish. Snotalitvish. System I'm just complete. grinning at the fact that their whole world has snot in the name. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else matters. It just it has snot in the name. <laughs> Good times. And nothing else matters. Cause they've got snot in their whole world name. All right, let's get some Gearoid clone armies up and running. Why why clone armies? Well, they're the exact same as regular assault armies, except they are done in a third the time. Uh, actually, well, I should do more than one, right? Let's do about three. Uh, one, two, two, two. Never cared for the word snot. Gonna name our whole world snot. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is their garrison here? 251. Oh, that's fuck all. I can deal with that. Easy, easy. I just gotta pay attention to when the, uh, uh, where do these, um, armies show up, I wonder. All up in my northern territory, I do hope. Dang, mines. Yep, all in my northern territory. Good. They're not in danger of getting shot up by little spaceships with guns. That would be terrible. That would be terrible, I say. Just terrible. Alright, transport fleets. Do... Uh... Oh, oh, shit. Uh, get the fuck out of there. Run away to the... Bevarers Maelstrom. These guys are dealing with a battle here. That's problematic. Oh, shoot. We just had a scientist die. That's not cool. Um, doot, doot, doot. Last, uh, physics Society. Uh, so who's leading engineering? Who do I want? Engineering. Level 3 with with uh, sentient AI assistant. That would be decent, but industry level 5 with the expertise industry. Eh, let's go with uh, let's go with this one. ISS massive moat. Can we know what the hell you were doing? All right. We're cool there. Uh, what are you doing is my question. You can go ahead and research these projects. I want to find the Erassian home system. Please and thank you. Okay, and all these transport fleets need to get moving and head over to the Belvar's Maelstrom. Oop. And are we getting more clone armies shortly? Yep, in just a moment. Oh, hey, we got some allies flying in to help out. Check it out. Y'all about to get fucked. Pew, 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 pew. Get fucked. Get fucked. Hey, and this guy's got transport fleets coming in too. What are you doing with those? I wonder. Evading huh. hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet. Uh oh. You're supposed to evade them, not fly right to them. You fucking doofus. Jeez. Complete. I wonder we're losing this war. Alright. 
Regroup at the Belvara's Maelstrom, please. Oh, attack Alnaces. Sure, even though I don't have a single battleship to equip these onto. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, uh, I need another... Ooh. I need another civilian ship, a construction ship. Uh, where are you? Way down here. Uh, peace offering? Barrier Trade Association made made peace with something else. It's a war that I was not part of, so I don't care. Um, old Gods, Shrine to the Precipient. Done. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Our transport fleets are regrouping in the Belvara's Maelstrom. They're getting there. Let's go ahead and give Transport Fleet 1 a general. And I'm going to go with Butcher because the extra army damage is always nice. I'm super simple like that. I, I just like grabbing one where it's like plus 10% army damage. Pfft, good enough for me. Boom. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what do we got here? Terraforming gas is edict expired. Uh, let's re-up it because we are terraforming. Uh, how much longer for that terraforming? Any almost done? Yeah. Uh, this is turning into a tundra world. Oh, it is a tomb world. I thought so. And what about this one? Ladium 2. Just a regular old world. It will be done in less than 800 days. So, about uh, two years and that's done. That's uh, not too bad. And we'll have a new planet available in the Ladium system. Hey, what you doing here, Ladium? That was my horrible Scottish accent impression, and I do mean horrible. Uh, the prince investigate Tath aliens, investigate unidentified empire. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Got more important fish to fry right now. Okay. Um, are you all in the Belvaris Maelstrom yet? This guy's got to be getting close. Uh, Transport Fleet 1 is in Hika. Well, you'll be there shortly, and then we merge all these armies together. Ho ha ha! This isn't even my final form! And then you go... Vroom, and all the ships combine, a la Voltron. And uh, it's like a Voltron times 18, because there's 18 transport ships. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And then we gotta merge all these. And merge. Bam. There we go. Just like that. Transport Fleet 1 with 16 clone armies now. And these guys are getting close. Alright, so let's go ahead and move these guys over here. Uh, hopefully they get there before this transport fleet, before this transport ship hyperspaces. <gasps> we got an Arassian artifact. Woo! How much... More of those do we need? Kept grounds. Don't care about that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have five out of six. Cool. We're getting there. One more. Transport Fleet 1. All right. Ready to rock and roll. We're going to rename the fleet. Uh, clone. Clone dudes. Yeah, we'll just do that. Clone dudes. What's happening, clone dudes? Time to go to war. Prepare for planet fall. Land armies. Uh, we're going to take some losses in this battle because there's an okay garrison of 251 Alari defense armies here. Pretty tough. Pretty tough garrison. We'll, we'll deal with it accordingly, though. Hostile we'll do that. fleet detected. Yep. Hostile fleet detected. So where the hell was that system? Oh yeah, way the fuck down here. I was going to build a um, habitat around Pleon 5. I don't think I can do that anymore. No, I can't. Well, shucks. This sucks. Hey, I just realized we have the uh, star system of Yon. And then just a couple hyperlanes over is Yonox Maw. That's kind of cool. Completely unrelated. It just turned out that way when the galaxy was generated, but that's kind of cool. Precursor di discovery on Hika 1. 
I don't need it. I'm pretty sure I already have some precursor discoveries that I'm dealing with. Yo. Where's this guy? Uh, orbital station. Yeah, he's dealing with a precursor discovery right now. So, like, fuck off. Alright. Clone dudes, I need you to get there quick, like, for some hostile military ships show up. Oh my god! <gasps> We're catching up in war exhaustion. Look at that! Somebody's winning some battles. Somebody is winning some battles. All right, we need a new director, A. Eh? Um, this will cost us 200 to participate in this. I'm just going to abstain. Fuck it. Uh, we have elected Glimnock, previously Special scientist on ISS anything. Great Slip. Hey, there's our another Arassian artifact. Ship build cost, ship upkeep, ship build speed. Arassian home system. Hell yeah. And it's right there. Ooh. Interesting spot for it. Okay, so, uh... Invasion begun. Who do we get to deal with that? ISS edged purpose. You now have no orders because those were all Erassian artifact... Um... Events that I was going to get you go to, to go deal with. No need to do them anymore. Let's take a look at our clone armies beating the poop out of these defense armies. I shouldn't say beating the poop out of, but uh, they should be definitely whittling them down. Come on, armies. Do things. Defeat the foul Alari invaders. Damn, we're taking losses. In the grand scheme of things, uh, for general assault, aren't like. If I recall right, correctly, assault armies are still um, pound for pound weaker than defense and armies. And uh, clone armies have roughly the same or very similar... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, strength, I guess. For lack of a better term. Uh... But the reason why I like clone armies is because, as I've said several times, they're very, very, very quick to produce. Um, one clone army takes 30 days, which is a, a one in-game month. So over the course of a year, that's 12 months, you could have each individual planet produce 12 clone armies. And you're only, by the, you're only limited. The amount you create is limited only by however many colonies and stuff you have. Are you kidding me? Are we going to take out a single enemy fucking ship? Probably not. Brutal. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, we got a few. Got a few little dinky-ass Corvettes. Get them. Get them. Fuck them up. Yeah. Look at our, our strike craft are still attacking them. That's great. That's got to be a bug, but it's funny as hell. I love it. Get fucked. And get out of my home. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Targeted gene expressions is done. Uh, we'll do ground defense planning. Increased uh, defense army damage. That's always nice. There are many alien empires who would gladly seize our worlds for themselves. We must be prepared for them should the worst come to pass. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. In fact, we're working on that right now. Yeah. All right, uh, Rask running into unemployment again. And three districts left. Do I want to create three generator districts? It's super tempting. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because we actually have four clerks, so we could fill in most of those technician jobs. Kids are finally asleep. Did you finally use some chloroform, as I keep suggesting? <laughs> Unemployment is really becoming a problem here. Well, I shouldn't say that, but it, it will be becoming a problem. 
need to get to the prosperity tradition where city districts provide one additional clerk job just to temporarily deal with the unemployment issue. I don't like clerks. I've said this a thousand times. Clerks are no bueno. The station is up to 10% on this one. Are you just going to keep bombing it? Are you just going to bomb it? Hostile fleet detected. Until nothing happens? Hostile fleet detected. The Arassian homeworld. Here we go. We done gone got it, boys. Uh, building and district upkeep reduced. Uh, do, do, do specialist pop resource output increased. We can use that later on. Oh yeah, we got multiple traditions that we can grab right now. There's that one. Okay, and then the next tradition will be city districts provide one additional clerk job. Uh, the way I see it, clerks, uh, clerks. I well, I I treat clerks as unemployed. Uh, we got two of you in Zygar, hey? Let's get you the fuck out of there, because I need somebody over here to erase to, uh, build stuff. Oh, hey! Wow, that's cool. Erasia is a moon. Huh. That's really cool. I can't remember the last time I saw Erasia. I don't remember it always being a moon. That's pretty neat. Um, anyways. Uh, defense Army Health. Ooh, let's grab that. And then it unlocks the Fortress Building. Global Defense Grid. The strategic value of a good defense remains as relevant today as it was to our predecessors in the far distant past. Technology does not render fortifications obsolete. It merely changes their requirements. <laughs> Alright, non-aggression pact between these assholes that don't like us. So fuck them. I got a new cast iron pan. Should see how he treats maintenance drones. <laughs> no, I treat maintenance drones just fine. Because maintenance drones are very different from clerks. You need maintenance drones. Your machine empire cannot survive without maintenance drones. It's a very different story. And... Terraforming complete. Uh... Can colonize that bad boy, yeah. And we can do mining and generator districts there. So let's go ahead and do 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 do. We'll do a new colony ship. Random Stellock Stellock Bank. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> That's a nice name. Semper Buffo. <laughs> the L cluster beckons. The Jazigium Pious Administration is close to unlocking all the. Eldgate insights. I don't care. All right. Uh, we have a hostile fleet here again. Really. Hostile fleet detected. Interesting. And non-aggression pact broken. Cool. Fuck you. Oh, hello. Did those guys get crapped on? Oh, <gasps> they did. Wow. That's awesome. <gasps> Our allies are coming to the battle. Oh, yes. Yes. Our Jazigian pious administration is joining the fight. And kicking the crap out of them. I love it. All right. And we got a uh, gas giant here providing five exotic gases per month. That's pretty good. Aras three with... Five alloys per month, and then we got Aras five with six minerals per month. That would see we got good at ha like Aras the this world of Aras alone, or sorry, the system of Aras. I can put two habitats in here and be okay with it. We could put one over Aras uh, six for some reactor districts to give us more That's energy credits, and then we could also put one in Ara over Aras five to get those sweet sweet minerals each month. The Elgate beckons. The Elgate can fuck off. Yeah, exactly. I have actually completely ignored the Elgate in the last couple games, both on stream and off. Because, like, I wasn't in a hurry to go deal with it. Uh, the one thing that I, that I was getting pissed off about was um, the Great Tempest, I will admit. They were getting annoying, so I fought them off. But in terms of actually, like, 
actively searching for Elgate insights to open an Elgate and stuff like that. I just didn't really care. System survey complete. All right, Eras, fully surveyed. Very good. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I need this construction ship to get over here and build a starbase immediately. Where is the construction? Oh, he just flew over to Alamac. To Almanac. Uh, all right, build that starbase. Thank you. Hostile build some habitats detected. there as well. Oh, research complete. Global Hostile defense grid. Complete. Very good. Uh, let's see. Max occupation garrisons. Centralized command. Creating dedicated headquarters for all levels of military operations shapes an efficient fleet and lays a better foundation for future military training. Very good. All right. Uh, another tachyon lances are done. I like it. Let's go ahead and do interlinked support systems for no real reason. Are you still trying to fuck with me on my capital? Do you have transport ships coming in? Nope, not yet. It's crazy because our, our war exhaustion is so close. Uh, peace offer. Come now, blah, 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 blah. War goal status quo. No. System sovereign Alari worlds. No. Fuck you. I am not settling quo. I will settle for like a white piece. Can I do a white piece? Uh, something they would get. Marope. Uh, which systems were it? Was it Mobile Marope? Tracks Offco. The fuck are these? Yeah, I don't want them getting Mobion and Marope and all that other crap. I'm going to get Saulia, though. That'd be nice. Anyways. Alright, let's leave it be. You better have an Agra thing there. A what? For um, food? Why is this robot unemployed? Come on now. Get your shit together. Electrochromia 3 habitat complete. Oh, yes. First habitat done. Alright, now we can get this guy to uh, move elsewhere. Alright, let's colonize this bad boy. We're going to call this the Mining Station. Mining Station Alpha. Mining Station Electro, because it's in, it's in Electrochromia. So, we'll go with that. There we go. Done. And we got Astro Mining Bays. I love it. The other thing, cool thing, too, is since we took the uh, Voidborn Ascension perk, we get those two building slots unlocked right away without having to wait for the population to grow, meaning that immediately we can build a robot assembly plant. That really, really helps with the with accelerating the pop growth on your habitats. So, like, Voidborn is actually a pretty dang good Ascension perk to grab nowadays. Uh-oh. Well, this can't be good. Uh... Alrighty then. That's a bad sign. Oh my god, they have 90% war exhaustion to our 89%. I love it. It's great. Dang, mines! Got a building slot available. That means it's time for... A robot assembly plant. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, people, hang on. Uh, policies. Artificial intelligence has citizen rights. Okay. Uh, species. Robot. Set rights. Full citizenship. Okay, good. So we're looking all right. All right, Eras. 
Starbase in Arras is done. Let's build these mining stations here first. And then we'll get this one. And then we'll get this research. Ooh, whoops. I didn't do that. We'll build that research station. And I think that's everywhere. Oh, except for a research station here. And then we are going to build another habitat over here next. And that will give us more astral mining bays again, which we will sorely need. And then I'll do a habitat over here in Eras 6, or an orbit of Eras 6, to give us reactor districts. That will give us technician jobs so that we can improve the output of our energy credits. Honestly, uh, I don't really see our economy picking up in this game before, the, uh, before I abandon this stream game, because, my god, there is so much work, work to do. Rip, yeah. There's so much work to do here. We got so many places where we need to go build a bunch of habitats and stuff like that um, to get even close to building up our economy so that we can rival everybody else in terms of overall power within the galaxy. It's, I just don't see it happening anytime soon. Um, I would say I would need about an extra 100 years compared to normal. Hey! Yay! Yay! Hey, 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 Mega engineering would be really cool, but also synthetics would be super handy right now as well. Ah, oh, fuck. This is a tough choice. Let's grab mega engineering because that's like the go-to super duper secret. Tough to get technology. Uh, the hell else do I want? Let's get interstellar campaigns. Oh my god, the war exhaustion is so close. <gasps> oh shit! Our fleets are in combat? Oh no, no, they're not. That's our science ships. Why aren't you retreating? There you go. Oh no. Oh no. So much for building all those stations in here. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so now what happens if we... Status quo. Mobion, Sermon, Marope, and six more. Oh no. Osterban, Fasoon. Uh, I'll wait it out. I'll see what happens. It's probably a bad idea, but whatever. Three, four, five, six. Uh, Mobion, Schnick, Sirma. Damn. They get nine. Ouch. See, I could have taken Saulia from them, but uh, that might be the downfall, is me trying to hold on to maximum territory. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Live and learn. Uh, oh, yeah, we do have an Elgate here in the Belvaris Maelstrom. I totally forgot about that. Uh, Electrochromia. We have an orbital habitat. Should be a colony ship on the way there. Uh into housing issues, really. Alright, let's build a city, city district. And slights. Planetary administration. And how's about a hollow theater while you're at it? Two, please. A few of those. I would prefer not to lose this planet. Rask, bureaucratic center. What are we doing here? Physics research for jobs, so science thingies. We need research labs. Especially considering my output of science is absolutely god-awful right now. 71 physics, 56 society, and 63 engineering. Like, that's awful. Considering we're almost 90 years in. <laughs> Terrible! Well, if, uh, if the other dildos get to 100% war exhaustion before we do... <sighs> They might face a forceful surrender before us. I'm going to keep a close eye on that war exhaustion. Hopefully, uh, 
They get their ass kicked in another space battle here. That would be amazing. I might have to go upstairs and grab a cookie or something to uh, stop myself from yawning so bloody much. The downside is you would hear me going crunch, crunch, crunch on a delicious cookie that I would be completely unable to share. <laughs> Why are you just sitting here with this fleet? You've got a 9,000 fleet power fleet, and it's... What are you fucking doing? Go do to Go beat these guys up or something. Come on. They're just sitting there. Destroy the second armada. There we go. Okay, so they're up to 98% war exhaustion now. So... If things carry on as is normal, or somebody, uh, one of our alloys, wins like another space battle and gets them up to 100% war exhaustion before us, they will be forced to surrender before we do, I think. And we'll actually be okay. That would be so comical. Oops, I wanted to sell 10,000. Thank you very much. Sell 10,000 food, and we'll buy... I don't know. I'm not going to buy. Not going to buy consumer goods, because that's dumb. Uh, dark Matter, wait a few more months and then I can sell 250 in one go. Incoming transmission. Oh, yes. Incoming transmission. Uh, no. No, you are not getting 10 different systems from me. Fuck you. I will wait this out until oh, you are influence. utterly defeated. I am patient. After all. Get an energy grid here. Damn, I got too many clerks on this planet. That sucks. Clerks be no good. Uh, you know what? Instead of the energy grid, why don't I go ahead and do a administrative offices? Get some bureaucrats on this world. I just hit admin cap, so yeah, I can do that. Winning. Max gas extraction wells. Perfect. That'll work out. Complete. So energy grid, max gas extra and a gas extraction. Well, that'll leave me six building slots for other stuff. Uh, galactic campaigns, sure. Yeah, <laughs> they're at a hundred percent war exhaustion. Suck my balls. Uh, they should be forced to surrender. Let's see. I wonder what's going to happen here if I'm just patient. Battle on Bodrilla. Bodrilla. Uh, our war exhaustion. 20 armies lost. Uh oh. What the? Low stability. Why? This is problematic. It's because they're bombing it. Ooh, that's bad. That is very, very bad. Research agreement broken. Uh, declare martial law. I think I'm going to have to do this. This gives me a couple soldiers. Ooh. Risky. But I think it's going to be the play. Uh, research agreement broken with these guys. Don't care. We got another resolution being voted on. Have I... Minor administrative sanctions, eh? Let's go ahead and support that. Sure, why not? Incoming transmission. Uh, incoming transmission. What do you want? Uh, yeah, we can do that. High war exhaustion. There we go. Oh, forced to make peace. Okay, never mind. So, uh, they hit war exhaustion 100% before we did, so maybe if we just wait it out. So I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Let's see what happens. Why are you bombing me into oblivion, is my question. I do not like this. Enemy troops landing. Where? Oh, on Forgefall. That's great. Put up with that farmer job. Yeah, 
these guys are really unhappy with me right now. <laughs> Let's build some city districts just for the hell of it. All right, so we've got Stellock Bank in Latium being colonized. Good old size 19 world. Good amount of mining districts and even some generator districts. And mining station Electro is also uh, being colonized right now as well. We have failed to fend off the invasion on Forgefall. I have failed to give a fuck. I want my system back, you son of a bitch. Give me back my systems. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a little rebellion symbol on a planet with low stability now. I like that. That's cool. Uh, are you still bombing Wellstain? You are. 5% um, something something. Devastation. Administrative Park, please. Thank you very much. This will give me a little bit more stability. And settle my uh, admin cap problem for the next little while here. Working good. It's working out good. Everything's coming up. Geroid. Not really, but you know what I mean. Elquinian Empire. What? Director Glimnock has developed new skills. Okay, cool story. Why are we not... Motherfucker. We should be improving our relations with these people. And it is kind of working, but then they closed their borders to us. Because it's like, you know what, we had them open, but then we started uh, having a higher opinion of you, so we were like, you know what, fuck these guys. I don't like them. Let's close our borders to them. They're being too nice to us right now. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm going to keep talking. I kind of want to test this out. I'm going to pop upstairs really, really quick. Go to my freezer, grab a couple cookies. So you should still be able to hear me just fine as I pop up in here. I don't know if I don't know if I'm actually hungry or if I'm just thirsty because I didn't have a glass of water this afternoon. So we'll see how that pans out. Anyways, we still got 40 minutes left. Research complete. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's it for that. And we're done. Back in the freezer. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, we still got uh, still got 40 minutes left in tonight's stream. I want to thank everybody who is hanging out with me this evening. There's a bunch of you in chat that I can see, and also a fair amount of you in the uh, in the viewers list. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, new physics research. Ooh, shit, I didn't want disruptors. But let's go ahead and do it anyways. Fuck it. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's say a uh, common question that I ask these days. Uh, what happened here in this fleet battle, I wonder? Oh. Oh. Dope. Hey, um... Incoming transmission. Why is my ally bombing my planet? Status quo. No. Decline. Fuck you. Hmm. Five percent stability because this place has seventy-five percent devastation. Ouch. Well, at least uh at least they stopped bombing it, I guess, hey? 
for whatever reason. But I'm pretty sure it's still blockaded. Professor Payne. Can't see what that says. Nom. Yep, exactly. The nom emoji. There's definitely some nomming going on. Damn, they came all the way up to Zygar. Shit. This is not going well for the Gearoids, ladies and gentlemen. Not going well at all. Two hundred forty days until forced peace is possible. Huh. <laughs> Hostile fleet detected. Colony established. All right, we've got our Astro Mining Bay. I did not mean to do a resource silo. I need a robot assembly plant, please and thank you. There it is. Okay. Um, Research complete. We'll also do some hollow theaters. The other nice thing that you get from uh, taking Voidborn is later on you can add like luxury housing and stuff like that. Do I want jump drive? No, I no, not really. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. improved reactor boosters. Sure, that's a very fast uh, research project. How much unemployment am I seeing here? Zero. So why is it saying that we have unemployment? Planet is blockaded by Sovereign Alari Worlds. It is also down to 3% stability. <laughs> Good times. Hmm. Hmm. Special project complete. I'm thinking what I might want to do here is uh replace a couple civilian industries with strongholds. To add a couple more soldiers, add a few more soldiers, and then declare martial law. Because it's each soldier increases stability by 5%. Colony when you established. declare martial law, you get two soldier jobs right off the hop. So if I create more soldier jobs by constructing strongholds, I should get more overall stability and reduce the likelihood of uh, having this damn planet rebel against me. I legit cannot remember the last time that I had a planet rebellion occur in my territory. All right, Stellock Research Bank is complete. ready to rock and roll. Improved reactor boosters, done. Uh, let's go ahead and do improved deflectors. Sure, why not? I'm down to only nine alloys per month. All because I lost the planet of Forgefall. Great. Great, 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 great. Hmm. Well, I should have taken I probably should have taken their first status quo offer. Whatever.
Sweet. Well, let's have a look at what the hell just happened. I lost uh, Mobion and Surma. Huh. That's it? Okay. Incoming transmission. That's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, so let's go ahead and colonize these worlds now. Um, ISS Terminal Fall. Randomized Balkan Boss, Largol, Larkin Bank, Wintered Stain, Rickset, Skarnis. Um, sure, we'll go with that. And this next one, we're going to go here. Milistamu, colonize. I got a colony ship ready for you. Laugh Boss, uh, Sharon. Cattle stain, Lath Moss, Ulashek. Sure, I like Ulashek. That sounds cool. Uh, Jurassic 3A. Now we freaking thing of a bobber. It's a thing that does a thing with the things. Um, no longer a tomb world. Uh, why did I terraform this again? Hmm, whatever. I did it just for the hell of it, I guess. We're too weak to survive on our own. Bear, 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 fuck off. I'm busy. I got shit to do. Stop saying that I need protection. I don't need protection. Hmm. So how are we going to reduce the devastation on this planet? That's my question. Oh, there it goes. All right, well, let's just give it some time then. Research complete. You're laying more claims? Ooh. Check this out. Implant malfunctions. As part of our observation efforts on Wistral 4, abduction teams have surgically installed brain implants on a number of Pioran test subjects to track them and monitor their behavior. Unfortunately, due to a malfunction, due to a manufacturing flaw, excuse me, many of these implants have malfunctioned and are now having an adverse effect on the behavior of our subjects. There have been a number of suicides and at least three episodes of violent hysteria. The staff of our observation post have has asked for help in rounding up the remaining subjects <coughs> and removing their implants before there are any more incidents. It is not our problem. <laughs> All right. We need to clean up this mess. Let's do it. So how do we do that? Uh, need a science ship in orbit. Okay. We can do that. Uh, science ships. Where is the nearest one? Not up there. God damn. That's too far away. Holy... Sinok, Kunides. Let's go, let's go ahead and take this one in Selnok. Will you get there in time? 489 days. So yeah, you can do it in time. No problem. We got it! We're good. We're good. Damn, they grabbed a decent amount of territory down there. Sorry, Bodger Knights. That's my own fault. All right, we got a new tradition. Prosperity tree, grab that. And physics research. Ooh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's do shields. That's pretty quick. Oh, claiming another system, eh? The Mublar system. Oh, shit. They did... Yeah, I forgot that they got Marope. That system was mine, you sons of bitches. And let's go ahead and, uh, I already have a claim on it. All right. Can I lay another claim? Boop, boop. Sure. <laughs> I can dump all of my influence. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that, but I did anyways. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Oh, you're making more claims, I see. Well, I done gone did it dumb, and pfft, I just can't be arsed to care too much. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go back to um, developing the Erasian um, star system. So we build this stuff there. Then we want this mining station, and then we want this over here, and then we go. Research over complete. here, and I gotta wait the billions of years to get uh, to get enough influence to build that goddamn habitat that I've been wanting. And because I pulled a dumb, and I was just goofing off, and I was like, "What happens if it says click left stick to do something?" Click. Oh shit! That goes all my influence. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Eh, whatever. It's all good. Uh, lesser stain. How are you doing? 12% stability. Okay, it's, it's climbing back up there. We're getting there. Uh, new research? Nope, don't need new research. Alright, we're good. Alright, so how's everybody else's games going this evening? <laughs> um, Alright, Forge Fall, you have some unemployment. Let's resolve that. Uh, open up that last farmer job. Very good. We'll do a couple more city districts here as well. Uh, why don't I have a food processing plant? Am I that much of an imbecile? I guess so. Okay, I have plus one exotic gases, so I can totally upgrade this hyper entertainment form. First things first, though, I need to lock out an entertainer. This is going to sound weird. But I need to lock that out, uh, which will actually reduce the amount of amenities. When the building is almost done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock out the entertainers uh, and then just put it back up to four so that we only have four entertainers because I'm going to replace the second hollow theater with a alloy foundry. And then once the alloy foundry is done and I have a couple pops promoted to metallurgists, I will open up the fifth um, entertainer slot because if I don't do that what will wind up happening is I will have at least one unemployed specialist I don't want that to happen making a new empire again oh yeah you and your empire generation research complete shields done all right uh planetary shields yeah we could take that what I also need to do is build some habitats in the choke point system so that I have fortress habitats. I make a lot of use of fortress habitats uh, nowadays. Honestly, I use habitats way more now than I ever used to, which is kind of kind of cool. I didn't really, I used to not really care for habitats, but man, I get them all the damn time now. Why is there zero pop growth? Um, that's right because the devastation is so bloody high. So pop growth reduction, 61%. That is why we are seeing seeing zero pop growth on this world. Still seeing pop assemblies, but that's okay. I have an addiction, and I thought that addiction was to uh, th certain other things there, JB, like cocaine or something. But, okay. Commercial pact broken. Wop, wop. And remove malfunctioning stuff. Still working on that, that's fine. I really need to fill in these gaps where we don't have territory. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, cruisers. What is our cruiser design right now? Oh my god, artillery. Broadside. Interesting, interesting setup. Alright. Let's go ahead and change that to... Boo, 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 boo. Um, I'm thinking missile bow. But I only have nuclear missiles. Uh, alright. Well, let's go ahead and stick with artillery bow. Throw a gamma laser on there just for funsies. Yeah, shall we? And we'll do a broad... Or not a broadside core. A hangar core. Improved strike craft. We'll do uh, point defense and flak. And then we'll stick with the broadside stern and a gamma laser. 
control. And how about auxiliary fire control? Like so. Uh, I don't know if I need the zero point reactor just yet. Uh, tachyon sensors is always fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Uh, artillery tactics. Ship engagement range. Nah. I want ship fire rate. That's what I want. Uh, chance to hit plus 10%. Eh, fuck that. Don't need it. I'll do some nano composite armor and some shields. Okay, even, fuck, even grade 1 armor costs more alloys than grade 3 shields. Goofy. Alright, uh, cold fusion reactor, maybe? Uh, antimatter reactor? Okay. So how many alloys are we saving by changing this? 621 per ship versus 599. Eh, uh, fuck it. Let's just throw on the, uh, that'd be cake. Yeah. Let's just throw on the, uh zero point reactor so that I can plot more shields on here. Sure, why not? That'll work. <laughs> Save the current ship design. I can do that. Okay, uh, yeah. This is our uh, goofy cruiser design. And uh, I'm only going to build a few because we need to take out some hostiles. Shipyard. Uh, hang, on, hang on a second here. I'm going to go create new fleet and we're going to add our cruisers. Uh, we'll just do 10. And that's 5,000. And we'll do 8. That'll work. Bam. There you go. Easy. Ooh, they opened their borders now. Yay! I love it. Good times. Good times. They're taking a liking to us now. Yay! All right, what do we got going on here? Enable council veto power. <laughs> Let's support it for no real good reason. Do we have... We do not have a thing uh, on the floor. Eh, that's fine. Why are those guys opposing the minor administrative sanctions? I don't get it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have abolished the Galactic Council, changed the council size to two, changed the council size to Research four, complete. remove council denouncement power, and provide permanent council seats to the current council members. So it's really fun what you can do with the Galactic Council. Ooh, combat training. Our assault army damage and morale both increased by 15%. We could use that. Holy shit, you're finally building a fleet. Uh, sort of? I mean, I'm just building a few cruisers. What's this? The Bodronite Mandate wants to form... <laughs> the galaxy is dark and full of terrors. Gearoid, join us in a federation for mutual protection. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, a research cooperative, too. That's awesome. Federation. Hell yeah. Federation formed. Let history record that on this day, the government of the Bodronite Mandate and the Directorate of Duck Dip Dive sign a treaty of federation. As founding members of the Harmonious Technologist Network, they will now face the future as firm allies. This research cooperative will provide the scientists of all its member states with new opportunities to pool their knowledge. A new era of technological advancement has begun. A great day. We are losing Federation XP. And now we gotta deal with this bullshit. Um, I guess I can assign an envoy. Potitian Corporate Holdings and Kobarian Trade Association. Can I ditch my... Uh, kind of. What is these... Always a pleasure to talk to a sensible business partner. Um, they're egalitarian and fanatic pa pacifist, so I don't really care. Xenophobe, militarist, and materialist. Uh, can we invite them to the Federation? Botrodite mandate, mandate votes no. What good is our fleet if we do not put it to use? That's a very good question. Uh, yeah. I think we can pull our envoys away from those. Because um, what we need to do is right now our uh, total cohesion is minus 35. Our monthly cohesion impact is zero because we have only have one envoy assigned. Um... But we're losing uh, 0.5 cohesion 
uh, twice from two different reasons. So the reason why this is going on, we need to improve our monthly cohesion uh, to get that back in the positive, and then each month that will actually improve our XP gain by that set amount until we get up to plus 10 XP per month, I do believe it is. There's a maximum value to it, anyways. Uh, Alquinian Empire, let's keep with you, and then we assign another envoy. There we go. Okay, so now the monthly cohesion impact is plus two. Incoming transmission. What's this? Uh, yeah, sure, we can do that. Research complete. What's this? What's this? What the flag fuck is this? So yeah, it's improving it by... Ba -ba -ba -ba. We'll see what the next month brings. Military shields. Uh, let's go ahead and do shield capacitors for no reason. So you'll see the next month rolls around and that XP thing will improve based on how much our monthly cohesion is in the positive. So it went up by 0.2 because we have plus 2 cohesion. Uh, consumer goods in 12 months. That's a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and buy 2,500. Sure. We straw four ethic changes. Several of our adduction teams stationed on the observation post of We Straw Four have apparently been using the thrusters of their shuttles to burn large circles and complex patterns into crop fields belonging to the primitive Piorin that are indigenous to the planet. <laughs> The shuttle crews have been severely reprimanded for this prank, but the crop circles appear to have taken on some sort of religious significance for the natives. A new religion has formed based on these patterns, and it is gaining popularity among the Pioran at an alarming rate. Interesting. <laughs> so our, uh, our research teams are fucking with them. But they're just like, ooh, here we go. Weestral 4, implants removed. Abduction teams from our observation post above Weestral 4 have worked in concert with the crew of the ISS Lodged Clarity to quickly gather the Pioran test subjects with the faulty brain implants. The observation post's surgical staff replaced the implants with functional versions, and the subjects have been returned to the planet's surface. As an added bonus, science officer Balshir Nock managed to extract a wealth of data from the removed implants despite their defects. At least something good came of this. So that's a pretty interesting event. Uh, what do you want here? For Titian Corporate Holdings. Sure. Association status. Let's vote yes. And, uh... We have aggressive observation? I don't want aggressive observation. Technological enlightenment. Eh, let's do passive observation. This explains things. I just wanted passive observation. The difference is two points of society research. Whatever. Uh, the Harmonious Technologist Networks uh, voted to offer Fotitian Corporate Holdings Association status with the Federation. Okay, cool. Incoming transmission. It's a new, it's a new uh, alert screen altogether. That's pretty cool. Oh shit, I fucked up. Oh, no, wait, we're doing a city district first. Duh. Jazigian Pious Administration wants a, uh, association status. Oh, yes. And we got it. Everybody's teaming up with us. Good. Good, 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 good. This is actually really, really good. Okay, it looks like the low stability uh, uh, issue on Lesser Stain is no longer a problem. The housing and amenities are going back up. Because uh, the devastation is coming down. That's good. Really, really needed that. And Forge Falls still facing some unemployment for whatever reason. Let's open up that clerk job. Uh, board Stain, Generator World. Let's upgrade to Planetary Administration. Uh, and then Hollow Theaters. Yes, please. Do another generator in a city district while I'm at it. <gasps> Minor Administration Sanctions has been passed. Okay, cool. Is there a new resolution on the floor? No, there is not. I'm just... I'm just, uh... agreeing to most everything because I don't want an, another negative opinion modifier from other people. <laughs> um... What else can we do here? Is the Equinian Empire an associate? I don't think so. Uh... Offer association status. Will not associate with Bodronite Mandate. And the Bodronite Mandate votes no. Well, fuck you guys. 
<laughs> Your government does a good job of curtailing the worst excesses of egalitarianism. <laughs> uh, shield capacitors, done. Uh, let's get advanced reactor boosters next, just for the hell of it. Combat training. Galactic markets? Uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab foreign soil and enrichment to give us that extra little bit of habitability. That'll be nice. Um, frosted stratum. Okay. Um, are you still building these stations in Eras or what? You know what? You can go ahead and build the remaining mining stations for now. I might as well make use of those resources there and up until we get that habitat constructed, hey? I mean, why not? We are lose we're still losing Federation XP. That's too bad. Uh we're colonizing that world. Your controller batteries are low, that's not cool. Um okay, so the hyper entertainment form is being constructed. I need to keep an eye on that. Mega engineering finally done. Okay, good. Uh, let's grab holographic casts because I need those alloy mega forges. I need to open up more jobs, more metallurgist jobs uh, on Forgefall here by upgrading some of these alloy foundries. That is becoming a problem. All right. Uh, where is the other colony ship? Leviathan defeated. They have vanquished an ancient threat in the distant Zathmax system. Oh, shit, they took out the scrapper bot. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, we have the Stellarite Devourer right over there as well. All right, we got eight cruisers. I want them to go destroy these thingamabobbers in the Hauer system because I'm sick of looking at them. Uh, I don't care for any of these. Whatever, let's take the eager one. I don't care. Uh, so we'll deal with that first. And then we can send them to the subspace anomaly to take that out. And then we can send them to Ophili to deal with whatever the hell is there. All right. Uh, once it's down to less than a month for the uh, hy uh, hyper entertainment forms, I will restrict a single um, thing. Let's replace this with an alloy foundry. Okay, down to 27 days. Let's give it uh, a little bit longer. Holographic casts is done. And let's go ahead with habitat expansion next. 13, 12. Okay, let, we're gonna let the, gonna let the month roll over. There we go. And now, restrict the one entertainer job. We'll add another alloy foundry here. There we go. Okay, so now we have a maximum of seven entertainer jobs. I'm going to just put it, put it up to four so that when the one hollow theater gets replaced by an alloy foundry, uh, we still have the same amount of entertainers. It doesn't suddenly bump up. Um, and then we do the old switcheroo where a worker would probably get promoted as opposed to the specialist that is suddenly not employed becomes the new metallurgist. That has a habit of happening. It's very irritating. All right, so um, a research cooperative, a level one research cooperative. This federation is leaning towards a technocracy wherein universal truth and in unceasing progress are in focus. Uh, the modifier is that there are free and automatic research agreements between all federation members. So everybody is um, sharing their technologies, basically. Uh, level two, the perks you get, uh, academic contacts, no being can own knowledge. We hereby resolve to break with the practice of hoarding scientific discovery, one which impedes true progress in the galaxy. Uh, so the Federation modifier is that federal research agreements have their research speed increased by 5%. So you get those those techs that everybody has, that uh, or somebody else has, that you're researching, the research speed is increased by a further 5%. And I do believe this increases another 5% with each level of the research agreement. Um, so where normally it's, what, 25% bonus research speed when you are uh, researching something that um, 
somebody else has already unlocked and uh, you're re you're doing that same technology and you have a research agreement with them, I do believe it's a base amount of 25%. So at a level five research cooperative, uh, doing technology, doing a technology project that somebody else already has gives you a 45% research speed bonus. If I, if my mathing is correct, um, real time peer review, if new prototypes and theories are conveyed to every research institution in our cooperative, in our cooperative via FTL comms, they can be subjected to multiple sources of independent review and perfected with lightning speed. So this gives a member modifier to everybody in the Federation of another plus 5% bonus to research speed. Just a flat total bonus to everybody. And then lastly, executive research branch. Purely theoretical science plays a vital role, of course, but there are cases where targeted research following priorities designated at the highest level can have enormous impact. This gives the president, so not the members, but the president, plus one research alternatives. Uh, level three. Language of science. Every member species had their own version of taxonomy, the periodic table, and other tools of knowledge exchange. By settling on a common lexicon, ideas can be transmitted with minimal confusion. So this, this gives you the additional 5% federal research agreements uh, research speed bonus. Scientific inspiration. The interstellar multi-species nature of our cooperative exposes scientists to perspectives quite literally alien to their own, resulting in a great boost to outside-the-box thinking. This is a member modifier where rare technologies already unlocked by another Federation member now appear at two times the normal rate. This effect would change a 1% chance into a 2% chance. So that applies to all members. And that actually does stack with the um, technological ascendancy ascension perk. If we take a look at that one really quick. Technological Ascendancy. Rare technologies now appear at 1.5 times the normal rate. This effect would change a 1% chance into a 1.5% chance. So it bumps it. It actually bumps it up to like a 3.5% chance total. Uh, if I am mathing correctly, which is pretty cool. Some solid bonuses. Yes, I totally agree, uh, JB. The, the sooner you start a research cooperative federation, though, the better the bonuses are. If you're able to level it up. Like, if you're able to get into a research cooperative really, really early and start earning XP and getting a few levels really, really early in the game, the better this pays off in the late game, big time. Uh, and then lastly, Technocrat. This is for a level three research cooperative. Technocrat. We will reorganize our society according to the radical idea that, that those who possess expert knowledge within a certain sphere shall wield decision-making power there. This gives a modifier to the president, uh, giving them an additional plus 20% diplomatic weight from technology. So this can actually stack with certain resolutions that have been passed in the galactic community so that you could potentially get plus 120% diplomatic weight from tech. That'd be crazy. Uh, level four, license production. A great invention that never leaves its homeworld is of limited academic or social value. We will incentivize license production of such innovations to speed their propagation. This gives a further 5% bonus research speed to uh, federal research agreements within the federation uh then we got a member another member modifier research mobilization when faced with an obvious and imminent threat to all galactic life the scientific community must be prepared to set aside abstract experimentation in favor of purely defensive applications um, so the member modifier is during an ongoing end game crisis gain 20 percent research speed so it stacks with the 5% that you get from the level 2 federation, the real-time peer review, uh, and gives you an additional 20%, so 25% basically. Uh, and then we've got uh, a president modifier, federal envoys, the better future we're striving to build will only work if all beings are aware of what we mean to achieve. We intend to become a pervasive, persuasive force for peace in the galaxy. Uh, this gives the president one more available envoy, which can be quite helpful. Uh, it can maintain cohesion within the Federation itself, or you can improve relations with other um, empires in the galaxy, or even improve your diplomatic weight in the galactic community. Okay, so level five. This is the final one. This one takes a long time to get to it. Uh, level five perks. Universal database. The universal database has become a sort of technological holy text containing the accumulated knowledge 
of all our member species. Even if individuals forget or empires fall, the UD will endure. So this gives the final 5% bonus research speed to federal research agreements for a total of 20% bonus research speed to, to federal research agreements. Pretty cool. Uh, suspended ethical protocols. No taboo is too strong. No moral precepts too sacrosanct when the only alternative is complete annihilation. So this gives another modifier to all Federation members. During an ongoing endgame crisis, gain 20% research speed. So that's a 40% research speed bonus uh, during an endgame crisis if you have a level 5 research cooperative. That's pretty crazy. And lastly, strategic construction initiative. The ability of the executive branch to concentrate league logistical power on designated strategic projects will help to preserve the balance of power and defend our way of life. This gives the president plus one to megastructure build capacity. Normally, the most you can have is what, plus four? So the base amount is, uh, JB, maybe you can help me remember this. The base amount is you can build, you can construct one megastructure at a time. And this is like the big multi stage megastructures, like a ring world, a Dyson sphere, a matter decompressor, a strategic coordination center, that kind of shit. Normally, you can only build one at a time. If you take the Master Builder's Ascension perk, uh, which we can actually look at right now, where are you? There you go. Master Builder's gives you plus one megastructure build capacity. So that's two. Uh, if we go to Edicts. Uh, there is uh, Living Metal Mega Construction, which I don't have. That gives you plus one, um, plus one Mega Structure Build Capacity. And the Unity Ambition, which is one of those late game edicts that you get from completing Ascension Theory, and that's when you unlock the Unity Ambitions. That gives you another plus one, then you have Living Metal, yeah. That gives you another plus one Mega Structure Build Capacity, so the, the normal amount is only four at a time. With a level five research cooperative, the president can build five megastructures at a time. That's really tough to do, though, because you need a wicked economy to actually queue up five megastructures being constructed uh, around the same time. Like, you need several thousand, or maybe not several thousand, but many hundreds of alloys each month, because most megastructure sections require, like, what, 10,000 alloys, pretty much? So, yeah. Or if you just have an overall thriving economy, you're getting thousands of minerals and energy and hundreds of food and lots of consumer goods every month as well. You could just start selling those off to buy more alloys, right? So that's a look at our that's a look at our federation and the bonuses that we, we would get from a research cooperative. Um, yeah, pretty pretty cool bonuses. Um, a research cooperative is definitely my favorite federation type. Um, there are other types as well. Uh, there's the hegemony and, uh, can we change this? You must be the Federation president. This Federation is leaning towards a technocracy where in universal blah, 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 blah. I have to be the president to be able to change the, um, the Federation type. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe if we become the president, we can take a look at that. Um, a little bit a little bit better federation centralization we can actually change some of these so that uh you know if we if we increase federation centralization we're actually able to change some of these other uh federation laws as well succession term 20 years eh, whatever can subjects join yes let's leave that vote weight uh equal okay whatever Alien vessels. Let's take up these little ships. See how this battle goes. We should easily just waltz right over them, yeah? Why aren't you attacking? You are set to aggressive. Attack. Thank you. Pew, 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 pew. And goodbye. Easy. There's debris here. Mining small cutting laser. Oh, okay. Advanced reactor boost. Ooh, science nexus. Yes, please. Gateway construction as well. I want a science nexus instead. Uh, foreign soil enrichment is done. Uh, let's get the global production strategy. This gives us the Ministry of Production Building, which is super duper useful. Uh, let's go ahead and get some science ships over here. 
to do stuff. Uh, Norgon. Nope, don't care about you. We stroll. You're way down there. All right. So let's go ahead and get you to uh, research the debris in there, then do the project. Or sorry, then do the surveying, blah, 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 blah. And we complete. will get our frosted stratum to zip on up over to here. Deal with that, whatever the hell that is. And you are done construction in here. I'm actually super duper close to having enough influence to um, build the habitat in orbit of Eras 5. Uh, so we'll probably do... You know what? I can just wait till the next month rolls over. And then get that taken care of. Research agreements, commercial packs. Hmm, how many commercial packs do I have? Crazy. Uh, I gotta take a look at my factions. I'm genuinely curious. Which factions are really pleased with me right now? Oh, none of them. Not really, anyways. Council for the Advancement of Science. Uh, you're right. Okay. Cooperative diplomacy. Having a cooperative diplomatic stance pleases the council. Blah, 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 blah. Um, all right, uh, Alien Rights League, Xenophile, I don't care. Egalitarian Ethos, Free Movement. Ensuring the free movement of POPs by prohibiting forced resettlement and disability migration controls, I don't care, fuck you. Reproductive Freedoms, banning the use of selective population controls will please the Democratic Reform Society, don't care, fuck you. All right, let's disband that mining station. We're going to build ourselves another habitat. In the Eras, or in orbit of Eras 5. Then, once we get enough influence, we'll build a habitat in orbit of Eras 7. That will give us reactor um, districts, which we can use to do stuff. All right, Master Builders, hell yes. And uh, Galactic Wonders, I think, is on the horizon. That leaves us with two more Ascension perks for the end of the game to either do an Ascension Path or take the something like. Defender of the Galaxy, uh, plus something else, Colossus Project. Hmm. It would be nice to uh, be actually be able to build a Colossus and take our revenge against these bitch ass Alari by blowing up some of their planets or something along those lines. But anyways, uh, we're actually at the two hour mark. I'm going to save the game at this point. Um, had a pretty interesting stream tonight. Uh, things are really not going well for the Gearoids, and they have not been since we started this game. But uh, it's fine. It, nonetheless, it's still fun to play, still fun to stream. Um, I got to admit, I don't mind these kind of challenging playthroughs where I got to deal with hostile neighbors, and you know they're going to war with us pretty repeatedly, or there's just other people going to war with us and stuff like that. You know, the setbacks, the constant setbacks, it, and it does actually make the challenge pretty interesting because, uh, no word of a lie, it is kind of boring when you kind of, when you, or, well, for me personally, when I just repeatedly, like, you know, am able to sit back, build up my tech, build up my economy, and then just walk over everybody else uh, in the late, in the later portions of the game every time, that is kind of boring. It's nice to get some interesting challenge thrown your way. So, live and learn, exactly, Semper Buffo. I appreciate you coming by tonight. Um, I don't know. I'm enjoying this playthrough. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying watching me play it as well, um, because you know it's interesting. It's been uh, it's been pretty it's been pretty unique so far. Uh, I've I enjoyed using the Doomsday uh, Origin. Hopefully, we could do another one, uh, another challenging one, sometime in the future as well. Uh, so yeah, I should be back on Friday to stream the next chapter of the Gearoids. Uh, next week, I will be AWOL. I'm guessing it's going to be for about a two-week time period um, when my flooring finally gets done and uh, the kitchen gets replaced. Um, hopefully, when that's finished by the end of June, I can be back and we can finish off the Gearoid stream uh, and then we can start a new stream game uh, in early August. That would be fantastic. So those of you who came by to watch me playing this live tonight... Greatly appreciate you seeing you here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Strength Norse, Brick, Professor Payne, Kurgan777, Semper Buffo, JB, Loco Portal. Uh, who else popped in here? I think that's everybody. Yep. Um, greatly appreciate you folks hanging out with me tonight. Uh, hopefully you were um, having as much fun as I was. Well, maybe maybe not, but hopefully you were, hopefully you were entertained. Those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below uh, how you think this particular playthrough has gone so far. Uh, if you, like me, also appreciate uh, a challenge uh, in Stellaris Console Edition, or if you prefer uh, living out your power fantasy and just walking all over other empires so that you can invade and purge them without much resistance. Um, whatever you prefer, let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Thanks, Kurgan. I will see you again next time. Drop in on Thursday as well for a more Mass Effect Legendary Edition, buddy. Hopefully I'll see you then. Um, but yeah, anytime you uh, click the thumbs up or leave a comment down below on YouTube, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Stellaris Console Edition content from me in the future, click the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, the goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. It's a pretty tall order, but I think we can do it. Um, I'll need your help to do so, of course, though. Best things you can do are subscribe yourself and share this content with anybody who you think would enjoy watching it. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord. There's a big section for us console edition players where you can talk about the game, ask questions, set up multiplayer matches, and... Uh, and um, even discussed various strategies and whatnot as well. It's a very active community where there's, discuss there's discussions going on every day. So if, the if that's the kind of uh, Discord you want to be a part of uh, to talk about the game, that the link to join is in the description below. There's also links to my own personal stuff. For example, my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of. Give me a follow there and pop in Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Uh, I do stream more Stellaris. I intend to stream more Stellaris Console Edition uh, for quite some time, and I also stream a variety of games that my viewers vote on. Uh, right now, playing through Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Later on, we'll do, be doing some No Man's Sky and XCOM 2. Uh, those streams are on Mondays and Thursdays, and Tuesdays and Fridays are guaranteed be, guaranteed to be Stellaris. Uh, so pop in and uh, hang out with us for an evening. It'd be great to have you. There's also a link to my. Uh, Twitter feed, give me a follow there. There's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements there all the time. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord for fans of my content to freely join. It's not necessary whatsoever, but uh, if you want to be part of a much smaller, more personable community uh, where you can talk about uh, Stellaris or really anything else that is on your mind, um, you know, the food you ate today, for example, um, feel free to join, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Um, you can also take part in the community events there where you uh, submit clips from uh, my streams or my videos where something really, really funny or really, really awesome happened. Um, submit a clip of it in the appropriate channel and I put it together in the compilation video that uh, I will make at the end of this year and that will be public in January of next year. Basically, uh, the Moby's Best Moments of 2021 as, de as determined by you, the viewers. And uh, once we get through the current stream games of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, No Man's Sky, and XCOM 2, it will be another viewer poll uh, where viewers just like you vote on uh, a list of games from my games library that I post about. And the games that get the most votes are the ones that I play live on stream. So if you want to take part in that, uh, got to be part of the Discord. Uh, that link is down below. All of those links are down in the description below. So... I do hope to see you during one of the Twitch streams, and maybe I'll chat with you uh, later in one of the Discords. In the meantime, this is Mobius Y signing off for now. Uh, tomorrow's my night off. We're back Thursday with more Mass Effect Legendary Edition, continuing the story of Jonathan Booty Warrior Shepard in uh, Mass Effect 2 at this point. Have a good night, Professor Payne. We'll see you next time, buddy. Um, that's it for me. Enjoy the evening, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Take care.